Hey everyone, Pastor Ned here. This is Win the Day, five minutes in the Bible to help you pursue spiritual fitness. Today we're gonna talk about how to experience joy. If you're happy and you know it, what? I bet you were taught the song, if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands, right? Well, a number of years ago, I was told, if you're happy and you know it, tell your face. That's a message a lot of Christians need to hear today. Why? Because a lot of Christians don't seem very joyful. They don't seem happy. They seem underwhelmed. Frankly, I think they look unhappy. At church, we may sing the song, the joy of the Lord is our strength, but our bodies, our faces, and our lives sing the joy of the Lord is missing. You see, as Christians, we are called to live as salt and light in the world. We are to demonstrate the difference Christ makes both in how we speak and how we live. And one of the biggest differences Christ makes is the joy we can have in all circumstances. Listen to Paul's encouragement for us today from Philippians 4. Always be full of joy in the Lord. I say it again, rejoice. Let everyone see that you are considerate in all you do. Remember, the Lord is coming soon. Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank Him for all He has done. Then you will experience God's peace, which exceeds anything we can understand. His peace will guard your hearts and minds as you live in Christ Jesus. Always be full of joy. Rejoice! That's what Paul said. Well, what does Paul know about suffering or trials or hardship? I mean, he doesn't know your problems. I mean, don't you just hate it when the privileged tell us how to endure hardship? Well, friend, though Paul may have come from an impressive background, he traded it all for some real pain. In 2 Corinthians 11, Paul tells us he was imprisoned, whipped, nearly murdered numerous times, flogged, beaten with rods, stoned, and even shipwrecked. And he would continue. Paul knew hardship, but yet he said, rejoice all the time. The question is, how? How can we rejoice in all circumstances? Well, he tells us how to experience this joy and peace in verses six and seven. He simply says this, don't worry, pray. Tell God what you need. Thank him for his faithfulness. And guess what? You'll get that peace. You'll get that joy and you can show it. I summarize that passage as this, worry about nothing, pray about everything. That's the way to experience peace and joy every day. When we remember our trials are but blips on the radar, when eternity is paradise forever, it helps me put things into perspective. So here's my challenge for you today. Pray, <laughs> rejoice, ask and show. Pray about everything. Don't worry about it. Yes, it's okay, admit your fear and concern, but go to God. Tell God about it, and then let it go. Rejoice. God has been faithful to his people, to you, to me. Tell him so. Recount his blessings and grace. And then ask. Tell God what it is you need and want for the moment. God cares, and he is the one who can provide. And then show. As I said at the beginning of our time, Christians are called to be joyful, but we're not the best at showing it. So allow that peace to overtake you so the joy of the Lord will shine through you. God is the secure of our future and the provider for each moment. 
That is why I say rejoice.